One of the words that I would use to describe Jamie is passionate. She brings all of herself to her work every single day, and she believes so much in the stories that she tells. This is a girl who digs into a story and does not let it go. She recognizes that human issues and hyper-local journalism are really impacted by the quality of life, right? Some of the best stuff she writes is really about local people just trying to make something happen. People often think of Chicago as like this big amorphous blob of violence and danger, and that's not really our city. It, it absolutely isn't. But the stories that don't get covered except by reporters like Jamie and arguably only by Jamie are the stories of the people who are trying to make neighborhoods better, to make schools better, who are fighting every single day to make Chicago a wonderful place to live. She brings a little bit of herself into every story that she tells. Things that people otherwise bypass, don't see, ignore, um, or, or disregard in some way. A, a public train stop in the neighborhood that she covered had closed, and it was coming up on 30 years that it had closed. And she really wanted to figure out what had happened to this neighborhood as a result of this train station closing. And part of the reason I'm so proud of that is because it won the Chicago Journalism Association Award. award. So many people saw that story and, and the organizing around that has gained steam in large part because she brought so much visibility to that. I feel really honored to talk to folks who are fighting to keep schools open, who are, you know, marching to address, you know, violence against women, um, who, you know, like, make people smile like while you know getting kids to cross the street to school every day it's not it's not glamorous work but it's important work i'm providing a service to the community and i'm also making sure that the the neighborhood that raised me is uh being covered in this in, in an ethical you know honest way i think journalism is advocacy and that has always been my main tenet Am I, what am I doing to advocate on behalf of those who can't advocate for themselves? To be able to share those stories, to, to sort of amplify um, their voices and their work, it's not. Thank you.